from the capital city of Nebraska, a college football game of national dimension. The Washington Huskies, number four. The Nebraska Cornhuskers, number nine. The winner will have a chance at a national championship. The loser, probably not. Hello again, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson. Pleasure to come back to one of our favorite cities, Lincoln, Nebraska, the home of the Huskers. We've got the Huskies and the Huskers in this one. And, but this is a night for the Corn Huskers, they say, to make their point. I'm sure the Washington Huskies feel the same way. Coach Tom Osborne, his teams during his 18 seasons here have averaged nine wins per year. They have been to 18 consecutive bowls, but lately they haven't won the big one. Let me tell you right now, it is deafening down here, Keith. I can tell. We're sitting on top of it. Here are your strengths and weaknesses as uh, Nebraska receives. Well, we told you they led the nation in rushing 573 yards on the average. And for the University of Washington, they gave up only 67 yards per game last year. Nate Turner, number 22, Tyrone Hughes, number 33, will receive the ball for the Cornhuskers. Travis Henson will kick it off for the Washington Huskies. The temperature is 73 degrees. The wind is gusting up to 30 miles an hour, and the wind carries the ball almost into the stands as Henson kicks it off. So they'll bring it out to the 20, where he wants to go, and the eye back picks the direction. And it worked beautifully there. Those people up front are big. They try it again. Impman eats him up. Steve Impman just ate him up and drops him for a two-yard loss. Up against Nebraska. But it's Mason, uh, Rogers, Impman. Those are the three down guys. And the backers are Jones, Hoffman, Fraley, and Shields with Fields and Jones as the outside people. The corners are Hall and Bailey. They play man. Delaney will shadow Johnny Mitchell, the quick tight end. And Pau Koa is the man who'll take your hat off on the blitz. Here comes the blitz. They throw it into the crowd and get away with it as Tyrone Hughes comes in from the split in position and makes the catch. There is no gain, maybe a half a yard or so on the play, but that could have been a huge loss. Jones, your fullback, McKay Bailey, all the wideouts, and Aaron Pierce is the tight end. It is third down and 11. This time, there is time for Hobart. He throws a bullet to uh, Orlando McKay, the senior out of Mesa, Arizona, and he goes down right around the marker. First down for Washington. So that will silence the crowd just a little bit. This is a big offensive front, too. You see, both tackles are over 300, with the guards at 290 and 270, and Cunningham in the middle, Ed stands in at 285. Big people play this game these days. First down for Washington. The pitch goes to Barry. Looks for the crack. Spins to the 34. That's a two-yard pickup. Hall can do that. But they're going right at him right now. On balance, open side of the field. It pitch it out. To the eye back, Derek Brown. He cuts. It is touchdown. and goal from the nine. Quarterback draw, Hobart. Touchdown, Husky. He caps a 98-yard drive. Mo has put on a white shirt. McCant back. There's the first fake. Wants to go deep with it. Goes for Bostic in the corner. He's got it. Touchdown, Nebraska. 
Bostic beats Bailey. That's a kick from Bellevue, Washington, across the lake from the university who just burned his hometown team. I didn't know that. And Charles Lindbergh learned to fly here. Here's the long looping pass downfield. It is intercepted by Dana Hall. So this time, McKent looking deep. Couldn't get it all the way downfield to Tyrone Hughes, and Hall at 6-3 made the turn in his black jacket and made the interception. Be to the right side, and the play is done for the first pass. We'll be back with our halftime activities after this message and the word from our ABC station. Bruner. No remaining back as Bryant comes outside to the left. Hobart pumps it up. Got Bailey down the middle. Bailey is at the Nebraska 28-yard line brought down by Steve Carmer. He's a dynamite player, Mario Bailey. The field goal tries and the extra points have been an adventure tonight for Washington. They get it down this time and Hanson nails it right down the highway. At 12.27 to go in the third quarter, it is now a 14-9 ball game, still Nebraska. On first and goal, the Cornhuskers. And Derek Brown, touchdown! <laughs> About that size as they trail 21 to 9. Hobart's pass is away. Bailey has it. Bailey has the first down. He's brought down by Tyrone Bird. McKay's got it. And he's got a first down at the Cornhusker 15-yard line. Hobart's hot now. You see how thick his neck is? I mean, he's burning. Watch the middle receiver, number four is McKay. He's just going to let the inside receiver clear, come to the inside, man-to-man -man coverage. Big time throw and a good catch. That play has been there virtually all night long. Hasn't always worked because at times the coverage has been exceptional. At times they just simply haven't made the play. Ryan is back at tailback, first down at Nebraska's 15-yard line. Give it to Bryant. He splits him and scores. Touchdown. So they get it anyway. And as we wind down to the end of the third quarter, we have a ball game that is still very much a contest. What's the blocking here? The center. That's Cunningham who's going to block the man over. It's going to be a huge hole right up the center of the uh, offensive line. We talked about the, the battle of the line of scrimmage. The big uglies, Keith, if you will. Yes, sir. At time one Sickle. by... <laughs> That's a good touchdown for Washington. Big Bryant, character, character builder. Bryant's gone over 100 yards. He's got 112 now on 14 carries as Hanson knocks the extra point through there. And the score is now 21 to 16. And ball game. As we go into the final quarter of play. Ball is at the 27-yard line for Nebraska, second down and three, and they're operating out of a power eye. The eye back, Derek Brown, surging ahead, and he's short of the first down. McKiffin. Keithan McCant gives it on the option to Derek Brown, and what a blow he took. Who's in the bottom of that? Chico Fraley. Chico Fraley was right out there Ooh. with him. And he didn't get the first down. For defense. Washington gobbling up the yardage all of a sudden. Bryant working in the middle, pops out of there. Vito Bryant inside the 10. First down, Huskies at the Husker eight-yard line. Bryant is out now. 
Jones is back in, and uh, Billy Joe Hobart throws it down the middle. Touchdown, Orlando McKay. And Washington has the lead for the first time tonight. And the House of Red grows quiet. Waved it off immediately. McCann. Down he goes. Ball loose. Huskies have it. Ethan McCant hit behind the line of scrimmage. I think Fraley got him. And lost control of the ball. And on it is Paxton Talele. Yard. He's out. Barry's in. Little yardage in the second half for Washington. 245 to only 46 for Nebraska. Barry. Little change of direction. Button heads inside the three-yard line. Where it'll be first down and goal, Washington. Three-yard line. Hobart keeps it. Touchdown, Washington. Times the year before, did uh, running backs from the University of Nebraska catch the football? Bostic scored on a 42-yard pass play from McCann. He hasn't seen the ball in a while. Extreme pressure by Washington. Tommy Smith, Hillary Butler, and Donald Jones, and it was Jones and Butler. Clock running at six minutes to play, and it is third down and 12 for Washington. Nebraska's packed in there pretty tight, but Washington stays on the ground, and this is Barry getting outside. Oh, he's gone. There isn't anybody around him if he can outrun one man, and it's touchdown, Washington, and the door just slammed. 81-yard run. Mike Anderson was the only man that had a chance to run him down, and a linebacker's not going to run down a tailback very often. And that thumping sound was the door slamming. 81-yard run by Jay Barry. And Washington has scored on their last four possessions in the second half. Yard. 35-21. And Travis Hampson trying to make it 36 right here. Yep. You've got 5.36 to play in the game. Take a look at the battle up front. We said that whoever controlled the line of scrimmage, just straight block and nothing big. That's Travis Hill, 93. He's trying to be walled off, and then Barry goes around him. He's going to win that battle with uh, Raymakers every time, number 67. And Barry has enough speed to outrun everybody. The only man was 48. That's Mike Anderson. And they're having to pressure, having to gamble. And they, they got burned. Third down and long, a draw play. He gets outside. And he just, just does this on his own. That's Carver, number 31, who really should have made the play and didn't. Carver starting this year for the first time at strong safety. Really should have made the play, but what, what has changed, Keith? What, what happened? In the first half, it was all Nebraska dominating, especially in the first quarter. They've got to be hurting, too. And they're going home right after the game. McCamp throws, that swept away. The quarterbacks throw that much. It's not good. Nope. That's picked off. Dave Hoffman, the inside linebacker, dropping back on coverage, picks it off, runs like a fullback, and it's Washington ball, first down at their own 45-yard line. 20 seconds to go. It is a huge win for Washington. It is a bitter loss for Nebraska. But it does not bring the walls tumbling down. I'll say it again. The clock ticking along. Hard to swallow for that man there, a fine, decent man, and a very good coach. 
Great win for that coach, Don James. Your final score, 36-21 for Washington.